Hello everybody and welcome to Henry Swatches. In today's video um, I have a quick unboxing of a watch but before that I want to quickly thank you guys for 100 subscribers. Uh, I'm actually at 107 subscribers now I believe. Um, some of you may, uh, may think a shitty milestone on a shitty channel um, but I'm actually really happy with it. Uh, I'm doing this for fun so uh, if you guys uh, like my videos, um, I appreciate it a lot. Um, so, this watch that started it all. Um, if you want to see a video on this very watch, just leave it in the comments um, and I will make a video about it. Uh, I will probably do it anyway. But thanks a lot and uh, let's get into the actual video. So, let's open this watch up it's actually packs rather good oh that's too bad well as you can see another steel dive box these are excellent uh, travel boxes as well um, I'm gonna show you it These are hard plastics but with a soft inside so it's actually super nice to uh, bring watches with you um, in this case without damaging them. So we have a non filled in warranty card, I'm not going to use it and a user, user manual, um, not going to use it either and we have the actual watch as you can see very nice case. So, there we go. And as you can see, it's a SKX homage. So, the Seiko SKX, not this watch but it is a legendary piece uh, let's cut off this hang tag but a legendary piece of course you have probably heard it heard about it I'm sorry and this is the watch that I'm gonna use so I plan on modding a X SKX also for the channel, um, but I was not very much a fan of actually destroying a original Seiko watch. Uh, so I thought let's buy a sterile SKX, as you can see, nothing on the case back, nothing on the crown, and nothing on the actual dial. Well, 200 meters, um, but I'll probably swap out the dial as well. So I decided to go with a really nice mod uh, base. So this has standard SKX dimensions. So that means 42 mil um, overall case diameter. We have a, a screw down crown. We have the actual time, we have a date function, so it's probably an NH35. Yes, so it's 21st, and I screw it back in, I guess. So, and we have a loomed ceramic insert, which is really cool. I will do a loom test in full review. Loomed hands, loomed indices. A very nice bezel with actually really little play. It's all polished on the sides and we have a brushed finish on top. Uh, I actually went with the rubber strap uh, variant uh, I didn't want to pay extra for a Jubilee since I was 
planning on swapping this to a oyster bla a bracelet I'm sorry an oyster uh, bracelet uh, for the modding part but the first impressions are actually pretty good this rubber strap as well it feels really nice really comf uh, comfy so that's good as well as we can see a dome uh, not a domed a sapphire with AR coating on it which is really nice as well I'll put it on my wrist so there we go on my 6.75 inch wrist I actually have to put it on the well second smallest hole so guys with even smaller wrists than me uh, good luck with this strap but actually wears just like an SKX I owned one before and it was a very comfortable watch but I didn't think it was worth having a 7S26 Hardlex alum aluminum bezel insert watch for 350 in my collection so I decided to sell it and I thought even if I want to mod it let's just uh, get on Marsh again so first impressions are actually really really good uh, it's actually rather good Oh, it's actually aligned as well something you don't see with Seiko's um, but I'm actually really impressed with this um, and I hope you enjoyed the video so if you want to see a full review of this watch of course as I always say subscribe uh, like my videos it always uh, means a lot to me if you do um, and I will make a modding video as well um, if that all works out <laughs> as planned um, since I'm not a very good modder um, but I want to give this a try since it is only 100 euros so uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one